extract this beam create view support and then uh, select one view let's say this one so I'm going to show only the uh, uh, column and then this beam show only selected control 2 okay so we're going to create a shear plate connection between the column and the beam so I'm going to cut this one I can do the fit part end select the uh, do the do the fit part end directly so click one and then two and then just simply move then okay so do not expand so in this case if I want to concentrate only on this uh, position I can uh, create a uh, work area using two points and this is it. whenever we zoom out and then we press home key then it will go to that particular position so now um, we can now create the uh, uh, steepener first okay so for the steepener I can go to the other uh, view let's say this top view and then create the steepener plate so plate 10 all right plate 10 and then I can call this one as a stiffener and then here front or behind so one two three four and then middle button of your mouse and then change this to jumper let's say 15 and then 15 enter okay so now you have this uh, 15 15 all right and then um, uh, with this one you can go back to this view and then just simply move this or if you don't have the reference point here you can use now the copy or move special linear and then pick this point to this point so in, in, in this case it will move to this uh, this point of course so all you have to do is to remove the uh, the other value here zero and then zero and then move so it will only move on the z direction okay similar to uh, to copy right click copy from this point to this point or sorry um, copy linear from here to here and then remove this stem and then copy and then this one you can change this to behind all right now you have the uh, steepener two steepener top and bottom so this time we can uh, add the uh, <clears throat> the shear plate so I can type here shear plate and then plate 12 and uh, I'll, I'll just use the behind thing and then again one two that let's say this one is uh, 50 okay and then here if this one is 10 plus 40 plus 40 then it will be uh, 9 8 90 okay 90 and then this one will be 160 okay and here here middle button of your mouse now that you have this uh, plate okay so we can now add the welding or before we add the welding I can go back to my top view and then change the position just simply move it's either move to the that side or move to the other side okay so it depends where is the position of your beam because uh, that one is on, on the, the way that you erect the beam it, it will come from let's say from outside to inside okay so in this case maybe it will come from here and then connect to the uh, shear plate 
Okay, so after this, I can now uh, go back to my uh, front view, and uh, this time uh, I will add the the welding welding first. So I have the welding. So click the uh, column and weld it to the gasset plate or shear plate to the steepener. Okay, let's see if that one is welded. Assembly. Mm, nope. It's a. Eh. Let's see. Assembly. Okay, this welding is. Uh, inquire. Assembly. So, you will notice that the red color is the steep nail. Mm. That is wrong. Because. The, uh, the red color must be the column because that is the main part. Mm -hmm. So in that case, all you have to do is to select the column, right click, and then you can go to this assembly and then set as a new main part of the assembly. So no need for you to remove the welding and weld it again. Mm -hmm. So all you have to do is to set as a new part of assembly, and there you go. So this one will be correct now. Mm -hmm. All right? So... Let's go back to this view and then we add the bolt. So for the bolt, uh, the bolt should be on the middle of this plate. So I can use again my uh, construction point online. So from this point to this point is 40. And then go to this uh, bolt properties. Again, you can uh, remove the value here. this value and then pick the part to bolt to the beam and then the gasset plate or the uh, shear plate and then middle button of your mouse and then click this one this point and this point and then you have now this this bolt so again from here uh, the distance of X must be 80 and then the DX must be 40 and that's it. So you have now the X distance and the Y distance of the ball. Anything else that we uh, missed? Okay, so this is the shear plate connection between the uh, column and the beam. Especially if the beam is connected to the web of the column.